Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky Permadeath. Uh, it's episode 18, I'm your host, Colors Fade. Just bought a bunch of goods on this planet. We're gonna go find an appropriate system to trade with. And then I'm also gonna switch to expanding the base, base computer archive, so I'm gonna do that one. Alright, let's see. We are in a purple system. We need to go to a blue system next to make the money. It's a little gonna be a little hard to do. If I can just find one like this, the 75% to sell. And then I could go to my my base. That was out of jump range. That one's within jump range. There's a couple of blue ones really close by. That's a 67 to sell. Oh, this is a wealthy system and it's a sell 71. Oh, well. For crying out loud, I guess. I keep thinking if I can't find a wealthy, booming, advanced system to sell at, then I'll just sell at whatever has the highest profit margin and then I'll go to my base archives. But I keep finding wealthy and advanced systems, so I might as well. I might as well do it. Might as well keep trading while I got the time to do it. Hello, people. All right, Starship launch fuel. There's a Gek Relic. I need to get rid of that thing. Your base is in another system, I know. Oh, it's green here. It's green. Hello, Exosuit Upgrade. Yes, I will take you for $90,000. Thank you very much. Uh, Starship stuff. I don't want to spend any money on that. Barely made it. What's in here to buy? Let's see about this system. Buy from the Galactic Trade Network. What do they got? Chlorine, gold, salt. Okay, so there's salt here. That's going to be important way down the road, so I'm going to make a note of that. It's the system Udvolf. Udvolf has. 4k width of salt. Okay. These things are good to know. Sorry about all the noise with the bigger pad, but that's, that's the way the world works. Okay. You. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gek. I need to get rid of this Gek thing. Uh, request dialogue help. Friend. Uh, stare. Guys with the four eyes and those tall things that touch the data pad. Touch the data pad, giving my bio signature. Hmm. Assistant. Offer the Gek Relic. Thank you. Give me a little bit of dialect help, buddy. Thank you. Merchant. Thanks, bud. That helped. Now I should have... Yep, I got two slots open. Hand in missions. Let's take... Oh, we can hand those in. Those plucky pirates that we did. That's a hundred free nanites. Kill three sentinels. And superconducting fiber.
Alright, now show me what else you got. Kill eight sentinels for 155 nanites. Yes, please. Thank you. Kill 12 creatures for neural duct. Take that. That's easy payment. Scan five plants. Raid a planetary harvester for 97 nanites. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, where's the raid one? Raid the planetary harvester and steal the data. That's the one I want to be active. We're gonna go trade. And then we're gonna go do that. Where is that planetary harvester? Let's find out. Bucket the bolts. Wow, we're only ranked two in the explorer's guild still. Okay. Let's see. Oh, steel industrial secrets are right there. And by the way, I could see the threads as we came out here. There's a. There is a trade. There is a trade station, right? Yeah, you can see them. Oh man, there's a bunch of them. Some of them are going through the planet. Okay, let's see this. I think some of them are going through the planet and out the other side to a different planet. Because they don't go around the planet. So let's find out where they're actually at. A storm now it's gonna be all stop your burn okay trading post detected where at where are my friend right down there okay raiding a planetary harvester now it's gonna be difficult it's going to be hard to see. Hopefully the storm will be over by the time we get there. That's why this this first galaxy, when you're on survival, man, trying to find the... Trying to find a planet that doesn't have nasty weather or nasty sentinels at the same time. It's kind of almost impossible. Storm clearing, great. Okay, let's go. Superconducting Fibre. Five dimensional Taurus. Alright. Extreme, Extreme night radiation. Fun. That's that's gonna be extra fun, isn't it? Okay, um I'm gonna I'm gonna buy stuff to trade one more time. One more round before we head back to base. Starship inventory. Neural duct. Do I have any neural duct on me? Vector compressors. I'll move that to my... Oh, I can't. Okay. Alright, I don't. So neural duct. Alright. And then in here, I'm going to do something like this. Let's see. Okay. And that leaves me like, what, got two slots free in my suit? Perfect. Okay. Can any of you guys help me? Oh, never mind. Well, maybe you'll help with the dialect, but I doubt it. Observe quietly. Another supercell, yeah. Okay. This is not going to be the best. The already... We've barely been on this planet, and we've already encountered two storms. I'm, I'm not excited about this. Okay, let's see. Any oh, what's down here? is it? What am I looking at here? Oh my gosh, I can't see Jack. It's just two buildings. Okay. It's just two little sleeping chambers. Storms are a nightmare.
steel industrial secrets. I was thinking this would be a good planet to put my scanner out on and try to find a crash ship or a resource depot, but this planet in particular is kind of a nightmare with its storms. Where? What is going on? Okay. Storm makes it hard to even tell where. It... Man, there's the entrance. Okay. Look at the radiation protection. I can't get inside, please. Oh my gosh. I'm clicking on the thing and it's not working. That stinks. Can I shoot down the doors? With my ship. I'm going to point myself in this direction. this place. Where is the door? Is that it right there? Seems like it should be, right? Oh, it's almost open. Yay! Oh, don't land. <laughs> Alright, we got the doors open. Run! Run, run, Rudolph. Yes, I know. I know, will do. Trying to get inside before I die. Oh my gosh. That is intense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do this part of it. Download the data. Return to the mission agent. On these deals, I think you have to return to the specific mission agent, but maybe not. So, we'll see. Oh God, extreme storm. The stinkage. <laughs> Bucket of bolts, you're my hero. Let's get out of here. Storm clearing, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, never mind. We're getting out of here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. We're getting out of here, though. We are in a blue system, and we need to go to our green one that can just has a really high sell price. So, right now, there's that. Oh, here we go. 74%. I don't think you can actually beat that. And that's a Viking system with a ton of planets. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just go there. Let's just sell and then uh, head back to our base. That planet was gnarly. Those storms were gnarly, man. You have to have some hazard protection to handle that one. It's an orange system. Okay, magnetized ferrite is 141 there, and do I have any? I have some here. What do I have in my cargo? Oh, geez, that's it? I got. 
I got that much sodium right there. Let's do this. Let's put the magnetized ferrite in there. Let's put that one in my high capacity suit. Let's go get our suit upgrade. Um, sure, I'll take that one. It's a hundred thousand. That's fine. Let's see. Navigation data. Don't. I love Viking systems because they have seven different fighters in them. Seven different fighter styles, so you got a, a higher chance of finding someone to pontoon. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Let's see, what do you want? Ask where they came from, 100 nanites. We'll do that. And they'll give us their signal. I just want to see what this has. Salt, chlorine, ionized cobalt. Okay. Hello there, fish face. Kill eight sentinels. Yes. Kill twelve creatures. Yes. Kill three sentinels. Yes. Scan three plants. Yes. You got nothing else for me. Let's see. Can I hand anything in? Create a planetary harvester. Oh, so I can do. I can turn that in in any system. That's nice. Awesome. Okay. Oh yeah, and these are all nanites. Nice. Aggressive standoff. All right, I'm getting a pretty good chunk of nanites here. I just need a ship to spend them on. Because this is not the ship that I want to spend them on. Not this hunk of junk. I got 1800 nanites. That's not too bad. I'm going to try to use up the rest of my Mordite. How much do I have left? 17. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go sell our junk and then uh, go back to home base. What's this planet? It is a high temperature planet. Well, we're not going there, we're going over here. This one is... What is it? Some kind of poison planet? Toxic? Oh, it's just human. Oh! Huh. This might be the time to get the scanner out. Let's see if we can find a ship. I believe on my home system, if I remember correctly, 18 episodes ago, there's a really nice pontoon fighter there with TIE fighter wings on it. And I'm sure that it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 million to buy it. So I have a little bit of work to do there because I'm only at 15, but. If I could get like a 40 slot C class hauler, but I think even those are outside my price range. Unknown grave, okay. Before we land there, let's do this. Let's find the, tr the local trade post. Oh, there are Gravitino Balls. It's gonna be hostile. Yeah. Alright, drown. Signal led us there in search of pursued by Abyss, but we couldn't find. Fallen Travels Games, marked by Glyph. Hey, 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 mother. What the hell? Gosh, I'm not dying on this planet. Okay. 
You guys can try, but I ain't dying here, man. Not today. Okay, so it's a hostile planet. Let's spend three minutes on the way there. It's two and a half minutes. Let's see if we can find anything interesting on the way. Dang it, I knew that. I heard all those creatures. I was like, ah, this is going to be bad. All these traveler graves have been real risky. <laughs> They've been a little dangerous. I'm not appreciating that. Ooh, there, it's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, here's the problem. Dang, I'm gonna have to land. Okay, uh, Pugnium, we can get rid of that. And get rid of this Mordite. How many does this give me? One, two, three, four, five slots. Okay, perfect. do we have here? A special kind of cattle. Highly observant. Oh man. Is this thing scanning me? What the hell are those things? Giant ant type creatures. What are they? What's it say about them? Slow grazer. Vectorized. Hey, there's a pontoon plane on this planet. Oh man, I could, I could destroy. Peaceful absorbs nutrients, so none of those were the things that were trying to eat me. Okay. Yeah. Blaze javelin, let's do it. You hit each one of these. one time and nobody pays attention to it that first time and then as soon as you hit it the second time the poop's gonna hit the fan there they come they're like hey what's going on sniper rifle Yep, see you guys. Bye bye. Oh. See ya, dudes. That's the way we do it. Na na na. That gave us exosuit. Yep, full up. Granatine, dirty bronze, mango gold, granatine. Yep, love it. Love it. Sniper rifle for the win. Best weapon for dealing with those guys me likey Mom, I think he likes it who would have known that Mikey was such a picky eater oh man hey there's like two things over here what are any either one of these interesting? What is this? This is just a collection of little tiny houses. It's just those two things. Don't care. What's this thing over here? Is this a tall antenna? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Eject. Switch over to the bolt caster really fast. That thing get on the other side of the ship so it can't see me. Watch it wander off, maybe. Okay, where's it going? Is it taking off? It's perfect. Uh -oh. Is it coming after me? Does he see me yet? Get out of the way. Fuck. There we go. Crash? Do we have a crash? Dang it. What do I got? I got a minor settlement. Oh, well, that's nice. Ok. 
Gosh, what is blocking my way on the ground there? Hey, I used my force field that time. Okay. Oh, can we get a Viking dagger out of this? Let's go land at the train station, which we're constantly getting delayed. <laughs> oh, where is it? And it's really close by. Okay, how far away is this thing? It's closer. Alright, let's go do that. Miner settlement? Oh. What would be at the miner settlement that I would want, though? Nothing. I have a 24 slot gun now, so there's the allure of the minor settlement is greatly diminished. Hey, what's this? On our way to the trade post. What do we have here? Just another little shelter. Okay. Just another abandoned shelter. Here we go. There's a nice, a nice fighter on this, uh, in this system though, I like that a lot. Yeah, they're coming from all over now, boy. Jeez, I don't see one though. Oh, there it is. Right there, what is that? This is a different one. That first one we saw had TIE Fighter wings, and this one has the other kinds of wings. Cool. Yeah, what are you? You're a C30 for 10 million units. A C30. Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look at you. You are a C30, and I am what? I'm a B24. That's six extra slots for 8.9 million. That's t that's really tempting. It's really tempting. Um, I know that there are two pontoon fighters on this system, so I think I may stay here and farm for a while, which I don't need to film that. First thing I'm going to do is sell all my junk. Neural duct, organic piping... Let's see what that did to us. I don't want to take the first thing that comes along and he just flew off anyways. That gives us 21. Oh, and then we still got all the granatine and magnet. Ah, we still got all this other stuff. Let's sell this and see where we're at. High capacity. Yeah, we're going to sell those. Sell the granatine, the nitrogen. It's minor, dirty bronze, and the magno gold. Oh, yeah, baby, what are we at now? Yeah, still 21. 22 million, basically. Hmm. 
that is that kind of changes the complexion of things here because there's two really good pontoon planes here. Okay, I've got some. I got some thinking to do. I'm gonna save the game here, folks. I got some thoughts on this. Got some things I'm gonna write down. So I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll do my best to respond. And if you really like the channel, tell your friends. Have them subscribe. I appreciate seeing my numbers go up. We're a small channel. We do fun things around here. Thanks for watching.